Hi, my name is Hal Lee. And I'm Kevin Percy. I'm Mason Manning, and this is the camera phone based optical metrology system. Throughout this video, we're going to discuss our design process, how to operate our system, and how the camera phone based optical metrology system will benefit the consumer. So, the goal of our project is simple. We wanted to design a metrology system to quickly and easily test mirror surfaces. You may have a mirror sitting in a warehouse or in a lab somewhere and not know what its shape is or its radius of curvature. An optical metrology system allows you to test that mirror to determine what it is. Our system is based around a smartphone. Almost everyone has a smartphone, so using it as the main hardware component was an obvious choice to make the system accessible without specialized custom hardware. The other hardware portion of our system is a Hartman dot pattern that we designed to be easily printable on cardstock and that can be taped directly to the phone. The main component of our project that makes this kind of optical test possible is software. We do a large amount of image processing and analysis, and everything runs on the phone itself within an app. No server or computer connection is required at all. The system works entirely through the phone's camera, which takes pictures of the reflected image of the dot pattern. The image processing algorithm, which we wrote mostly in C++, uses these images to measure the surface shape and properties of a mirror using geometrical optics concepts. Here's an example of what the iPhone's camera sees. The dots on the printout are in an evenly spaced grid, but when they're reflected by the mirror, they will distort based on the shape of the mirror. The image processing algorithm is looking for these dots in the image. The user takes two images at different distances from the mirror, and the dots will move around the image different amounts, depending on the slope of the mirror surface at each location. The algorithm draws a set of vectors over the image, which represent how each dot moved between images. We plot the vectors based on their distance from the center of the mirror and their length. Then we fit a polynomial function to the data. The polynomial function we get tells us the shape of the mirror. In this case we have a cubic function, which indicates a parabolic mirror. For a spherical mirror we would see a linear function. We're only using the polynomial function to give the user a rough idea of the shape, but if we had more time, the function could be used to calculate an exact shape and give a more descriptive output. We also calculate the radius of curvature of the mirror. The reason the user takes two images is so that they don't have to precisely measure the distance from the phone to the mirror surface, which we would normally need to calculate the radius. Instead, they only have to measure the distance they move to the phone. The algorithm calculates a scale factor using the two big dots taped to the mirror mount. Here's what it's like to set up and use our system. The dot pattern should be cut out and taped to the phone. The two bigger dots should be cut out and taped somewhere on the edge of the mirror mount. The phone should be clamped or mounted so that it's relatively stable. This specific mount isn't necessary. Any basic tripod would work just as well. After all that's done, you can open the app. You first see a camera control screen. You can manually focus the camera and then lock the focus at the sharpest point. There's also an exposure slider, but this already looks good, so I'll leave it where it is. Tap the capture button to take the first picture. Then slide the phone away from the mirror and take note of how far you moved on a ruler. Take a second picture and the app opens the analysis screen. It draws all the vectors on the image, along with a red line connecting the ratio dots. If some of the vectors look uneven, or if some of the vectors are missing, you can adjust the thresholds the algorithm uses to find them. These vectors look good, so I'll leave the threshold sliders where they are. Finally, you can see the results of the test. The algorithm has already plotted all the vectors for you, and from the plot it knows the shape, in this case, is parabolic. You enter the distance you moved, in this case 5 millimeters and the application will output the radius of curvature. And that's really all there is to it. The test only takes a minute to run and it outputs results that even someone without optical knowledge could understand. Lots of mirrors are unlabeled, so it's useful to be able to accurately figure out what their shape and radius of curvature are at a glance. Interferometer tests are more accurate, but they require precise alignment on an optical bench, and they're expensive. This test could be done by anyone with a printer and an iPhone.